that wind is increasing as the weatherman said it would. It seems to be getting stronger as this game progresses. First down, Ty Cats. Rocks past the Keith Baker. He has it at the five. And Green brings him down at the three and a half yard line. Peter Brock is just picking this Argo defense apart. He's being hit after he's throwing the football, but the line is giving him that initial protection, and his receivers are doing an excellent job of getting open. They've really got the defensive back guessing now. Keith Baker totally wide open against Marcellus Green. First and touchdown to go. Johnny Shepard, the ball carrier. Touchdown, Hamilton. There is a flag on the play. quarter going against the wind have up their lead to 14 to 1. Now just sheer determination as Johnny Shepard runs over number 13 Darrell Wilson into the end zone with his second touchdown in the first quarter. Ruoff point after is good. How about this one? 15 to 1. The Thai Cats lead it with 30 seconds left to play. There are flags all over the field. Ross Francis is the injured tie cat as we look at Shepard again. Johnny Shepard so elusive when he gets that football. The tie cat's going to an unbalanced line. They put an extra lineman over that right side. They got the blocking. There's the recipient of that roughing penalty Pat told you about. It'll be called against Earl Wilson. He just out now took a cheap shot at number 54 there, Ross Francis. And already you see the score 15 to 1 for the Hamilton Tiger Cats and maybe the Argonauts are losing their poise a little early in the ball game to be doing that. Referee John Ireland is huddling with his officials. They'll sort it out. In fact, they do get a 15-yard penalty. It'll certainly help out Bernie Ruoff's kick into the wind. Well, maybe this will help to relax Alberto a little bit. A 14-point lead. Rough play. Disqualification. Final number 74. That is their defensive end, James Curry, whom they acquired from the BC Lions. He started the season, and now uh, you can see Bob Obilovich talking to him on the sidelines, and he can't be too pleased about this turn of events. My apologies to Earl Wilson. He was the last one I saw in that pileup, but it's James Curry. And boy, does that ever hurt a team. You know, you just don't carry that many extra players to have to try and replace someone who isn't, who's not lost because of an injury, but because of a stupid situation such as this. And look where Ruoff will kick from the Toronto 40 yard line. Well, how about an onside kick right here? Well, it could be a good place to try. Well, there at the it really would, level. you know. It really would. They've got the Argos reeling a little bit. The Tiger Cats are really fired up. Yeah, here They're it is. Tall. Jan Carinci does get hold of the ball at the 19 yard line. Well, that's still an excellent play. Absolutely, because they start inside their 20 and the Ticats certainly had an opportunity to get it.